morning and welcome to the News Before the News with Andrea Cox and Danny McGrady. Today marks the opening of Belfast Metropolitan College's 18 million pound economic development centre in North and West Belfast. The rejuvenated Springvale campus aims to bring a wide range of users from the community to the building. Employability, enterprise and economic development are the keystones to this progressive project. The high tech E3 complex is jointly funded by the Department for Employment and Learning, the International Fund for Ireland and Belfast Metropolitan College. The multi-million pound facility will enhance the employability skills of its students, stimulate enterprise through business incubation and foster innovative approaches to economic development. Mary Therese McGivern, Principal and Chief Executive of Belfast Met, joins us now live from E3. Thank you for joining us. Who do you ideally envisage as potential users of E3 and what courses will benefit from this facility? Well, hi Andrea and uh, thanks for having me here today. Um, I don't think that we have an ideal student, we just want to open the doors to everyone who wants to develop their potential. Um, initially we will have our degree, foundation degree students and our HND students up here doing programme based learning. But we'll also have school groups, we'll have level 2 and 3 on our FE side all being able to avail of the marvellous facilities which are now going to happen in this building. So potentially students could view this as a springboard from classroom based learning to experience of hands on projects and ultimately to employment. Well that's what we hope, we feel that the facilities in this building are as close to industry as we can make them so students will be experiencing almost being in the workplace and we believe that that will give them a lot more skills and an edge when they go out there to look formally for employment. Can we view this innovative E3 building as a template for future Belfast Met campuses? Well I think so, I mean technology is changing so fast um, and we hope to keep this building very relevant to the industry but I think that the future of education does lie um, in being able to be as close to the workplace as possible so yes um, as we move forward um, in future times I hope that this spec, this e excellence we'll, we will be able to reproduce in our other uh, campuses. Was it your original intention to provide students with the innovative approach of deciding the direction of their course and exactly how far they would be able to take it? Yes, I think it is. In the college what we try to do is work from where our students uh, want to move, from where they start and to where they want to go. So we have to give them lots of opportunities to, in a sense, make their own way forward. We're here to facilitate that, that enhancement of their life chances. That's what we're in the business of doing. So yes, we want students to be innovative. We want students to be imaginative, to be ambitious, to be courageous, and we'll give them the framework and the support, hopefully, to make that happen. Mary Therese, thank you very much. Now our reporter Sinead McCool is at A3 with the media students who will be using the facilities. Let's take a look at what they think of their new campus. Yes, thank you Danny. I'm down here among some of the HND broadcast journalism students today. There's a lot of excitement down here and these students don't seem to be camera shy at all. So let's see what they thought of the E3 building today. So we're in the post-production room, but what was your favourite bit about the E3 building? I love the look of the building in general and I love the uh, shiny new Macs that we have. I can't wait to get into them. Mine was the radio studio, it's state of the art and I can't wait to start working in it as the six weeks that we'll be here as students. So Paul, what's your first reaction to the E3 building? I think it's fantastic, the facilities on offer is amazing. We've got the radio studio and the TV studio which is great for us journalists, um, gives us experience, it's money well spent. That's great, and what do you girls think about the building here at E3? The building's absolutely brilliant. Uh, we have the best equipment here. It's so modern, up to date and professional and I'm sure that we will put it to good use. Yeah, I can't wait to play with everything and get to use all the new equipment and the TV studios are massive. Like, I just can't wait to get into them and get using everything. So I'm very happy with what we've got here. So we're in the new state of the art TV studio, but what do you girls think of the E3 building? Uh, the building as a whole is unbelievable. Uh, the facilities are really amazing and I'm really looking forward to working on it. Everything seems really, really professional, you know, so it's going to be, it's really exciting to know that we're going to be able to use all of the equipment and stuff in our studies, so. 
safe to say that all of the students are really impressed with this creative building with facilities such as a TV studio, radio studio and even a Mac room. I think we've just about covered everything the students need here. Back to you in the studio. Some great reactions there, Andrea. Yes, Absolutely indeed. fantastic. If you want to get more news, you can go on our website or you can follow us on Twitter. That's all from us, from both of us. Goodbye. Bye-bye.